This was an absolute dream come true. I did a 366 day around the world trip with my nine year old daughter, Indigo. One thing she really learned was how to travel light. Her backpack weighed eight kilograms for the entire year with everything she needed. We did no formal schooling at all, yet Indigo came back with so much experience such an ease and trust in the world, and such a knowledge of different cultures and races. We went to every single natural history, science, or cultural museum wherever we went. Gone are those days of boring, dusty exhibitions. Everything is so interactive. Indigo thought she was just having fun, but actually, she was learning so much stuff. This is our Spanish teacher in Quito, Ecuador. We did four lessons in the morning, and then in the afternoons we explored the city with her, going to the markets and to the museums and to the sites, while she only spoke Spanish to us. Indigo was reluctant to eat the local food, as most nine-year-olds would. So my ingenious solution was to do a cooking course everywhere we went. Such fun going to the local market, shopping, going back, chopping, stirring, cooking, and then at least you would taste it. Lost civilizations opened up so many lessons around history, geography, politics, the rise and fall of superpowers. And another big lesson in Machu Picchu was how to acclimatize to that really thin air. We spent Christmas on Easter Island, the most isolated, inhabited place in the world. We actually saw firsthand the massive impact of tourism on such a fragile space, an island with such limited resources. This was a huge red flag for us to be careful in our travels. Cambodia, what an eye-opener. We visited these temples that had been undisturbed for hundreds of years and saw how nature always reclaims its space back. Indigo had so many questions. What happened? Where did the people go? How did they leave all these temples? We did a deep Amazon trip that was really challenging. We spent a whole day traveling to this tiny spot in the jungle where there was no electricity, no communication and absolutely no English. And in the jungle, the creepy crawlies are huge. We spent our money on experiences and not on things. They're all made in China in any case. <laughs> Glorious experience to soar over the cliffs of Lima. We had to balance caution with that adventure and always make sure we had an emergency plan in place as it was just the two of us traveling. The Gucci tunnels in Vietnam opened up conversations around nutrition and the different sizes of, nat of nations. Indigo, at nine years old, could barely fit into these tunnels where the adults used to live and hide during the war. We had so much fun at the equator. I was delighted to learn that you weigh less at the equator. And Indigo set out to test all those myths about which way the water runs down the plug hole. And can you balance an egg on a nail? And why is it always so hot at the equator? Staying with locals was always challenging when it came to language, but we got by with Google Translate, gestures, body language, smiles. Actually, at the end of the year, we were both experts at charades. <laughs> and I'll never eat rice again without feeling this ache in my back. Adventures. We hiked on glaciers, snorkeled in the Galapagos, we rode bicycles, caught boats, climbed mountains, we learned tango and tai chi, we learned to make batik, jewelry, chocolate, and I took over 13,000 photographs. <laughs> what always warmed our hearts is that across culture, across language, and across ages, we would always make a human connection. This is Tukiki from Tikil Island in Peru. And he explained to us that on this island, 
Only the men do the knitting, and only the poor women work in the fields. A beautiful moment to be blessed by a Buddha in Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Travel certainly teaches you tolerance, compassion, and acceptance, and the knowledge that there are in fact many hundreds of gods. Kids are always attracted to animals when you travel. And our meeting with these llamas on the Peruvian mountainside didn't work out very well for me. Seconds after I'd taken my, a picture, I learned that llama spit can surely fly. <laughs> we spent three weeks on the Galapagos Islands. What a marvelous place. Those tortoises are huge. Very sad to learn that not a single tortoise is born in the wild in the Galapagos anymore because the rats are coming off the tourist ships and eating every single egg. We also had very many peaceful, calm days, just enjoying the experience and the moment. We did really slow travel, shopping, living and eating like locals. We had no fixed agenda, so we just moved on when we were ready for the next place. This was a life-changing trip. Indigo and I became really close. And if any of you are thinking of traveling with your children, don't hesitate. You can learn everything from a book and in the classroom, or you can swap it for the experience in the real world. Just do it. Yeah.